Hey guys, in today's video I have four free and cheap Dollar Tree Farmhouse craft supply organization DIYs for you. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. To start off, we're going to make a paint supply um, holder organizer whatever you want to call it so i do start with four crates and 11 of the little wooden drawers from dollar tree i take the tags off and then i take all the boxes out of the plastic and then take the drawer part out of the little drawers so all you're going to be left with is that square box on the outside now i wanted a little top piece that was a little bit smaller and I also didn't have five crates so after I kind of like organized them all together how I wanted them then at the top it still had that little space so I did just take a square wooden piece from Dollar Tree and I measured out a back piece as well as a top piece and I cut those down. I then just kind of organize these because you guys it drives me crazy these little boxes from Dollar Tree are not square they're always like uneven which I guess what can you say for a dollar so I'm definitely not complaining but I did just rearrange them um, flip them around as best as I could so that these would sit together nicely I then left the bottom uh, pieces down and I took the other pieces off set them aside and glued the bottom together first making sure that they're all sitting together nicely like I said I then glued the rest of them together with some wood glue and I took my pieces that I had cut sanded them down and then I used wood glue to glue those down as well to the back of this and the top now a little tip is my wood glue always gets um, dried up wood glue in the tip and then I can't use it so I did just take that little bottle from Dollar Tree and put my wood glue in there and now I have a nice little bottle that I can use every time without struggling with it next I just give this entire thing except the back of it a good coat of my favorite stain Jacobian now I did want to mention if you guys have more paints or you know bottles of Waverly chalk paint you can buy as many of these as you want and make it as big or as small as you want depending on how much paint you have and you can also add to it if you get like more paints you just add right to it use your wood glue and you can make this bigger if you like so I did just think or I just did want to mention that so of course once it's dry I take my chip brush and my white Waverly chalk paint and I dry brush all the way around this because of course I want this to go with my rustic decor in my craft shed and you guys already know if you've been around for a while that it's not a Melissa piece if I have not dry brushed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> so I did find these new little chip brushes and I am so pleasantly surprised with how good they do. I honestly could never find the right one other than the ones with the little handles that I've used forever and I found these on Amazon. They are in the link in the description box. They're in my Amazon store if you click the link and then you go to craft supplies. So look how quick and easy and amazing this looks for just a few dollars from items from Dollar Tree. If you guys are new here, my name is Melissa. I love to do all things crafty on a budget, especially Dollar Tree DIYs, farmhouse decor, and much more. So if that's something you're interested in, I would love it if you would stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and then tap the bell and all to be notified every single time I upload so that you don't miss another Dollar Tree moment. Okay guys, so moving on to our next DIY. So I just took some cans that I had used and I saved them. I took the label off of them and I washed them out. So I brought them out to the craft room. I just pulled out some 
uh, nautical rope and some of the white nautical rope that I got from Dollar Tree that I already had in my stash and I take some hot glue and glue the nautical rope to the bottom and then wrapped it around six times. I then just cut it off and glued it um, and I start in one spot and then I'll also end in the same spot that way you can use that for the back so you don't see that it's pieced together and then I take the white rope I wrap it around twice cut it glue it back down and then I do the same exact thing that I did for the bottom so I put a bead of glue I glue the jute and then wrap it around six times at the top so that it can be even Now I did want to mention if you don't like this style or design, you can do yours any which way that you like. It's personal preference and for me, I just wanted something to break up that nautical rope a little bit and just make it look a little bit more decorative. I then take these chalkboard tags that I got from Dollar Tree and I wrote on them tools on one and then brushes on the other and I started with the middle letter in the middle that way I know that it would be even and then I went from one side to the other if that makes any sense at all but then I went over it once again so that the words really pop. I don't know why, but for some reason, white paint pens are not that bright. You have to go over them again. And because my Dollar Tree paint pen was right in front of me, I just grabbed it. But for the next part, I do end up using my Arteza paint pen just because you don't have to do two layers with those paint pens. Um, I just did one and it looks much better. So once I had my wording down, then I did just glue it to kind of like the top of these cans. I then made two bows with some jute and they are double bows. If you have not seen my bow, bow tutorial video, I will link that in the cards in the right hand corner as well. So that way you can get perfect bows every single time. And then all that was left to do was add your items in there. If you don't want to do brushes and tools, you can personalize these to whatever craft supplies you may have and what will work best for you. Okay guys, so this is another super simple one, but it just takes this to the next level. So I had this little brush holder or pen holder from Dollar Tree and I just take it and I put it together. Once I have it together, then I use some black matte spray paint. I take it outside and I give it a really good coat of this spray paint. Once the spray paint dried, then of course I had to take my mini chip brush and some white Waverly chalk paint and just give it some dry brushing just to make it look weathered and so that it would match and go along with my other farmhouse stuff like I said before. Thank you. 
I did also dry brush the top of this as well as the inside bottom just to make it look all cohesive. It looked kind of funny with just the bottom and the legs dry brushed so I did want to just tie all that together by dry brushing the top and the bottom. To finish this off I take my jute I run a bead of hot glue around the middle of the top lip and I glue the jute all the way around the top as well as the bottom. Last but not least, you just want to put whatever you're putting in here. So I have these Arteza Real Brush Pens. They're kind of like watercolor pens, so you can um, use them and then take a watercolor brush and blend them together, or you can just blend them together with the tip. They're really amazing. You guys know that I have been trying to get into watercoloring. I don't know what it is about it, but it, ju it just draws me to it, and I didn't have anything to really store these in, so that way when I wanted to use them, I could just grab and go. So I did want to just display these in here, as well as as this is a definitely functional way to be able to see what colors I have and what colors I want to use and then that quick and easy you can turn something that just looks blah into something that looks amazing and something you want to look at while you're crafting for the last super simple and free DIY I take this Truvia um, container that I had. It's called Stevia Sweetener, if you, I'm sure you've heard of it. But um, I just start by taking the plastic off of it, which is the label. And then I take some chalkboard paint from Dollar Tree, and I just give that entire lid a really good coat. So for the top, you could still see the indentation where it said Truvia. So I take a piece of scrapbook paper and I kind of just make a mark with my finger so that way I could see how big it is. And then I just cut that circle out. I then take my purple disappearing school glue or glue stick. I love these things, you guys. I use them all the time and I just glue that down to the lid. Once I had that glued down, then I placed the lid back onto the jar just to make sure I liked how it looked. And then I guess I lost the clip, but I did just take this little mini chalkboard off of a, it was on like a skewer. I wrote 10 millimeter and put the beads in there. And then that was it for that one, you guys. Look how amazing these are. Some of them were free. And I just craft the stuff that I already had. Some things I did buy, but anyway, leave a comment down below. Let me know which DIY was your favorite and which one you're going to recreate. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. I could not make I could not wait to do this one for you guys because I know a lot of you had asked if I could do some DIYs for craft supply organization so anyway please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoy it subscribe if you haven't already share it with your family and friends if you think that they would enjoy it too those thumbs up and those shares really help my channel to grow and help youtube to notice me just a bit more so with all that being said if nobody has told you today you are gorgeous you are worthy and i love you with all my heart and soul and i will catch you guys on friday which will be a Valentine's Day collab with some wonderful girls that have become some of my best friends. So I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you guys Friday. Bye.